These gatherings are not to solicit candidate names or evaluate candidates. It is instead to discuss the characteristics that we ought to have in a future head coach. After I introduced this topic to the team captains, they explained they had a different agenda. They were passionate, they were articulate, they were convincing, but what they insisted I understand was that they had built the best culture in college football. That they have friends playing at other places around the country, they have a way to make that assessment, and they were confident that this culture in this program was the best in the country. But they, were also, they also wanted me to know that they owned that culture. They built it. It was theirs. And their message, stated clearly and convincingly, was, Jack, don't screw this up. I got the message. In short, they convinced me that I had two separate tasks in front of me. One was to select the best possible coach to lead the program. The other was to protect the culture they had built. It was an unusual situation to be in and took me down two parallel paths. It was, for example, the protection of the culture that led me to make the unusual decision to make a commitment to our director of performance, Matt Bayless, that regardless of who became the head coach, he, the minister of culture, if you would, would stay in his position. It was the same motivation that caused me to begin parallel negotiations with a critical part of this team and this culture, Tom Reese, before I knew for sure who the head coach would be. To be sure, the perspective that those seven captains offered to me put a heavy finger on the scale in favor of Coach Freeman. But that was only because they and I believe so strongly that Marcus is the perfect guardian of the very special culture you, the student athletes, have built. When reflecting on my time as Notre Dame's athletic director, I certainly remember the special victories and some of the agonizing defeats. But most of all, I remember the moments like those 45 minutes spent with seven young men, extraordinary people representative of the student athletes at this university that I have the privilege with of working with every day.